Well, hey there, people. Well, Cash and I were at it again. We're trying a new spot today, kind of. Um, I fished here offshore a few times, caught a lot of uh, pickerel, uh, walleye, if you will. So today, we're going to try up the creek here. I was talking to a lady that was here last week, and she said it's beautiful up there. So let's go check it out. Pretty peaceful. Don't know what that is. Somebody made themselves a little boat. <laughs> Whoa, Cash is interested. It's a little hard fishing at this end. There's lots of weeds, tons of weeds. Anyway, we're just out for the little trip. Throw the line here and there. If we catch something, we catch something. If we don't, whatever, no biggie. Beautiful day. They're calling for uh, 31 degrees Celsius out. Uh, it's got we got a heat warning going on, but Cash and I we're tough. We drink swamp water if we have to to survive. This is actually uh, Pigeon Lake water. Scoping out some camping spots while I'm here. It's a good little spot there. There's some shade and stuff. It's kind of nice out here. Kind of nice. It's beautiful. Cash went for a good stinky swim. All right. So I'm waiting for a doctor's appointment right now. I'm waiting for uh, my hip doctor to call me. They said between uh, two and three, we're at uh, 245 right now. I figured what more relaxing spot than to talk to a doctor than being on Pigeon Lake. I'm sure this part of Pigeon Lake is called something else. Pigeon Lake Creek, maybe. A moose. Fuck off. with cash hey we don't want to mess with that he was a monster too what's that right there that's where the moose was he took off up there tons of camping around here tons Watch your head, Cash. Buddy. Watch your head. He's still up there, the moose. It's okay, we were quiet. We didn't freak him out too bad. She's getting tight, the trail cache. Okay, well, we'll take this little bit of shade break and um, I gotta call my doctor. He's like, what the hell? They're like between two and three and it's like 3.30. So I'll call them and see what's up. So I just called and uh, my appointment's still on. They're just running late. Lots of good stuff. This is going to be a blast, man. I'm being sarcastic. I got to go for blood work this week. I got to go for a bone, a bone thing. This is the hard one. They've been wanting me to do this since I was diagnosed. I just can't come around to do it. Like, you know. I told Shelly what I want, but uh, I was talking to a doctor yesterday and she said, no, you got to fill that out or they're not going to listen to your wife. You know, say if something goes wrong in my surgery, they're going to want to try to revive me, revive me, but I got to fill that out. So they just let me croak on the table, bro. 
Just let me croak. So we made it through the fallen tree. No, we just had a crash. All right? We just had a crash, Cash. This thing goes on forever. We've been at it since uh, one o'clock. Like I'm not giving her, I'm just going at kind of trolling speed, less than trolling speed. Uh, so yeah, it goes on forever. This thing in the winter would be a blast with the trikes. I'm hearing a waterfall or a sprinkle of something. We found our waterfall. I was just saying to myself, like, what I love about canoeing is I don't have to use my legs. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't even do this if I try. Well, I probably could, but it would not be pretty, and I probably would get hurt. That's where the moose lay. Or probably the beavers. I've never Googled how far this goes. I wonder how far, or where it goes to. I'm not the Google, but where is he going? Good day for a swim, eh? Tons of camping spots. Love it out here already. I'm moving in. That's it. Well, we're sitting here. It's uh, I stopped in the shade, let Cash swim and stuff. Um, it's 4.30 right now, and I still didn't get my phone call. So I was just looking through my book here and um, just checking some stuff out. This is for after. There we go. That's how you do it, boys and girls. But I should be doing exercises right now, but I don't know, these pills they got me on make me so sick I can't even move around. Like, I, it's just brutal. Like, I'll, I'll have a drink of water and puke it up. Not all the time. Like, I have days where I'm fine, and the next day I, I'm sick as hell. Like, I, I just don't understand what's going on. In full hunting mode. Hey, Cash? He's freaking right out. Anyway, he just scooped this out of the, the water. He put his head over and grabbed this. Feather. What kind of feather is that? Cash. Do you know what that is or just something you like to hang on to? We'll leave it there. Don't eat it or nothing. Just in case, man. Gotta eat the full bird. Yeah, check that out. That's not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. What do you think, Cash? You were a good boy, he didn't freak out or anything. That's a nice pickerel. Hey? That's how you do it. Hey, Cash? That's how we do it, bro. That's a nice pickerel right there. Or you guys like to call them walleye. They're pickerel in my eye. Okay, let's let her go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Very healthy, eh, hey, Cash? Woo! That was awesome. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> wow. This is the spot, but don't tell anybody, Cash. That was a nice pickerel right there, bros. Don't get offended. I call them pickerels. You guys, some of you call them walleye, but their proper name, I guess, but we grew up with the pickerel in northern Ontario. This guy. Hey, Cash, a little baby pike. Turn around so I can let you look at you. Little baby pike. So there must be monsters in here, eh? I wonder. Looks healthy. What do you think? You're being good, Cash. Like last year, this guy would jump in the boat, out of the boat just to get it. You ready for another swim? Taking your nap. I had a towel on him. He didn't want it. He loves it. He's just basking. 
still wet. I spray them with the paddle a lot, so I just so you don't like it too much. But <laughs> while you were sleeping, usually I do it when he's awake. Dad, you're an asshole, eh? Oh, sorry, buddy. Want a treat? We'll get him a treat. That fixes everything. That fixes everything. Hi, right, buddy. We're gonna crash. Hang on. Hang on. Cash. We're gonna crash, Cash. They're not really treats, it's just this food. To him, they're just as good as any treat, though. Except for the, the uh, beef jerky, eh, buddy? Here, you don't have to go over there. The beef jerky that I made. Can't even go to the fridge, they know, if you're going for the beef jerky or not. Anyway, I just got off the uh, phone with uh, my hip replacement people. Now I have to make an emergency appointment to the dentist to make sure I'm all clear. Um, my surgery is actually booked for the 20th of August, dudes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Cash. 20th of August. So I got to go into my dentist on the 13th. Thank God that's my lucky number to get my teeth all cleared so I don't need any m magical surgeries or oh my god, I'm freaking out. Then I got to go fill that life thing with my doctor. I got to sit down and tell my doctor how I want to die. Yeah. At least we spent it on the river doing it. Heavy day, heavy day. It's all good though. This guy. Hey Cash, a little baby pike. Turn around so I can let you look at you. Little baby pike. So there must be monsters in here, eh? I wonder. Looks healthy. What do you think? You're being good, Cash. Like last year, this guy would jump in the boat, out of the boat, just to get it. Okay, let's release this healthy looking pike. It's got nice colors, eh? Not too bad. Healthy for sure. Hey, buddy. Let's let him go. There go. Right on. See, to me, that was worth it just to come and have a doctor's appointment. Catch a nice pickerel, a little baby pike. And we're still far from the truck, I think. What? Not that far. I hear the traffic. But who knows? Let's catch some more pickerel. Just wish we can catch them or keep them. I got a call from the, um, the hip doctor's assistant or whatnot. Um, so I got a date, they want to do it on the 20th of August, the right side. Watch out, we're going to crash. Dad's out of control here. But yeah, big, big day. Um, thing is, I got to, I have to go to the dentist, like before all this happens. So it's like an emergency booking. I had to book an emergency appointment with my dentist to get the all clear that I don't, I don't have anything serious going on in my face, right? <clears throat> so I called them right after I got off the phone with them. Like we're at seven o'clock at, at night right here and I'm still on the river or the creek or the lake. It's been a long time on the phone. But anyway, um, so they booked me in with my Dr. Chow. She's gonna check out my face on the, uh, the 13th. Hey, Cash, lucky number 13. Well, anyway, from there, um, yeah, I got to fill out that death thing with my doctor. I got to go in there and get him to sign it. So I got to fill that out, like now. I have to go tomorrow, or she goes, you should have went yesterday. So I got that to do.
But look how beautiful it is out here, obviously. Anyway, let's get her done, right? I should have did some video of me trying to get out of there. Trying to load up the canoe was insane. I worked really hard. Uh, well, when I backed up to the, the creek or the river or whatever, the lake, um, it was at an angle. So I had to lift the canoe up to the truck and jam it in there. But yeah, we got her done. There was two girls fishing not far from where I was and I was really tempted to ask for help, but I didn't. Well, right on, people. Uh, well, obviously I'm gonna try to keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on. In the meantime, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Big, big cheers. And we'll talk to you guys later.